Hi, so in this section we're going to cover the topic of live queries in PARS. Now to understand the concept of live queries, I actually wanted to show you through an example. So let me open up the console and let's have a look at some code on the left hand side. So here I've got an example, I've got the class of test object. I'm then creating a query of test object and I want to find all the objects which have the column foo equal to the value bar and I'm just printing them out on the screen. So now if I hit run, you can see there are one, two, three, four, five objects are returned from the server which match that query foo bar. So now if I go to the dashboard, and I look at the test object class here, let me hit refresh. You can see there are five items where the foo column equals bar, one, two, three, four, five. So fantastic, that worked. What would happen now if perhaps I made that value equal to moo instead of bar? Okay, now that's saved. Now we only have four items where the column foo is equal to bar. But in our client code, we still only we still see we still think there's five. Okay, because when we ran this query, there were five test objects returned where foo is equal to bar. But now through my actions in a dashboard or perhaps another user on another web app or mobile app, they've changed some attribute of the test object which would change what this query would return but in this web browser itself right now we still only see five objects we don't know that one of them doesn't have foo equal to bar anymore wouldn't it be a really useful feature that if anything changed on the parse database which would have changed the results being passed back in this query that we get re-notified, that we get told again, oh hey, by the way, I know you ran this query before, I know you got five results, but something since then has changed on the server, and here you go, there's only actually four results that match your query. And that feature is what PARS has, it's called Live Queries. And it enables you to build real-time applications. You don't constantly have to re query the database all the time just in case something changes you can just set up a live query and parse server will notify you whenever something happens which matches one of your queries which would fall into one of your queries so some examples of where this could be useful one really common use case is for a chat application so you might have a query which is return me all chat messages in a chat room you set this up as a live query, and then whenever somebody else on any other device or browser or application adds another message to this chat room, your live query would kick off and you would get notified when another message appears in that chat room. So a really useful feature to have in your PARS application. But it doesn't work by default. You need to set up a few things to make it work. 